Maintenance man here with a couple more DIY car camera mounts. How much do you really need to, or for that matter, want to spend on a rig to mount your camera safely on a car? I've seen rigs from a few dollars to several thousand. So I decided to build several different rigs to see how cheaply we could do it, and then test them to see how effective they are. And I promise I'm going to explain and demonstrate all of them but rather than showing them all in one video, we decided to break it down into several. That way people can watch the camera mounts that interest them, rather than scanning through hours of video of me mostly drinking beer. The good news is, you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a professional car rig. Today, we're looking at this 12-inch magnetic plate that I built for $55, as well as the same plate, except with suction cups, that I built for just under $100. To build the magnetic plate, I used a 12 inch by 12 inch by quarter inch thick aluminum plate that I purchased on eBay for $25. First, I drilled four 5 16 inch holes in the corners, two 3 8 inch holes in the sides, and one 3 8 inch hole in the center. Then I attached four $6 magnets and two 3 8 inch eye bolts to attach the securing straps. To attach the magnets, I used one and a half inch long threaded couplers with eight millimeter threads to match the threads on the magnets. Then using four eight millimeter by 25 millimeter long bolts to attach the plate to the couplers. This gives us a little more than an inch of clearance space between the plate and the surface of the vehicle. These smaller magnets are available on Amazon in sets of two for $20. We showed that in another video on how to build this smaller plate. But, these larger, more powerful three and a half inch magnets are available for $6 each and seem to be a little stronger overall. The smaller magnets are great if you want to use a smaller plate like this one. The build process for this large plate is exactly the same as I demonstrated in the video about this smaller plate. So if you want to know how to lay out the plate, drill the plate, you can watch that video for the entire build process. In both cases, I used an aluminum plate so you don't have any loss of magnetic stickiness and to keep the camera away from the magnetic field. Also, 6061 T6 aluminum is very rigid and light. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be tempted to use plywood and that's fine. Just make sure you use large fender washers like these around the holes so the bolts won't pull through the wood. But honestly, I don't know if plywood would be any cheaper and it certainly won't look very professional. Fuck! If you want the rig to stick harder to the car, just add a few more magnets or larger magnets. But these $6 magnets are just fine because the real strength of the rig is in the tie downs and not the magnets. For mounting the camera, we only drilled one 3 8 inch hole in the center. But you can drill as many holes as you need or even turn the plate into a cheese plate with evenly spaced holes. First, let's start with a simple hood mount with a 75 millimeter bowl. Today we're using a $60 riser with a 3 8 16 mounting point. One bolt to attach it to the plate and we can just pull our camera off the tripod and place it onto the car mount. That is solid. I got, I cannot move. This whole truck is moving on those four magnets. Of course, you wanna put two straps on here, strap them under the hood, to the fenders, whatever you want. And I don't care what you put on there, it's not going any place. It's easy enough to reposition. Just pull up one side, get where you want it. Don't get your fingers caught under the magnets because it'll crush them. We have a nice space here because of the spacers and that works out really well. That is a solid mount. Another simple mounting method is just to attach the fluid head to the plate. And that also brings the camera significantly lower. It's on there, but put straps on it anyway. Strap it here under the hood, on that side under the hood. It is not going any place. I don't care if you have a 50 or 100 pound camera on there. That should support it. 
Now, if you build too high and get it up here, yes, that's gonna, stip, that's gonna tip it over. There are tons of mounting options from this $25 Neewer ball head for cameras up to 17 pounds on up to this Pro-Aim heavy duty ball mount that supports up to 65 pounds for just $130. If you don't wanna use magnets, you can also attach suction cups and use it the exact same way. For this plate, we purchased four of these four and a half inch suction cups for $60 on Amazon. Now that's just $15 each. So the difference in cost between the suction cups and magnets is only about $25 overall for the suction cups. Just attach them to the plate with standard metric six millimeter by 15 millimeter long bolts and you're good to go. That plate is not coming off until the suction lets loose and then it will. It's a quarter inch aluminum plate, aircraft aluminum, and it's on there tight. That is no joke. Four suction cups, so if one of them does come off, we're still on with three suction cups. Two of them comes off, we're still on with two suction cups. Strapping it under the hood or to the fender, and that is a solid rig that you can pretty much put any camera on. Also super easy to get off. This is the most basic rig we could come up with that we felt extremely safe for any camera. You can easily mount more than 50 pounds of gear to either of these plates. There are several suction cups that come with camera mounts for under $40. Like this Neewer, six inch with ball type mount for a small camera or phone. Now it's really cool, but I would not attach a cinema camera to it and drive down the street. But that's me. You might be able to afford to smash cameras every day. And if that's the case, can I please come to work for you? Because working for Mr. Dog Poop really sucks. I'm tired of it. I'm absolutely, get back here. Now let's try mounting the plate on the door similar to a hostess tray. To do this, we're attaching a four inch by four inch aluminum angle with two bolts. This will give us a right angle to mount to so the camera can be pointed directly into the car. Is that the easiest hostess tray you've ever set up? You can bring it up and down your door where you need it. Again, make sure it's strapped on. You could do this from the other side. If this is a little bit too close to the driver, you can move it over the other side. And if you're doing interior shots and you just want to take those shots, you know, imagine just using that as a tripod, as an easy tripod. $50 plus the angle, that was another $20. So you're looking at $70, $60 for this. So maybe $130 for the whole setup with everything, the magnets, the plates, and the 75 millimeter riser. Probably the biggest advantage of these is that we, they're cheap. So we could put them all over the vehicle. We could mount another camera back here for the back seat. We can put one up on the roof and put some speed rail on there and hang the camera down. We can put one of these up on the hood and you've got a hostess tray. And for a couple hundred dollars, you've got two solid camera mounts. Can it be taken off? Pretty easily. Again, it's not as strong this way as it was on the hood when you get up here because you can peel it off. Make sure you have straps holding it against the vehicle and then it can't go anywhere. The weakest point of that, weakest part of this is the flexibility of the the flexibility of the door, the panels. This is solid. It's the, the vehicle that's moving, but that shouldn't be significant when you're going because you're not pulling on it this way. So there you have it. One of the simplest, cheapest, secure mounts for a vehicle. For more vehicle mounts, please check out our other videos with some complex car rigs and cheap vehicle rigging ideas. And make sure you subscribe because we have a lot more rigging videos coming up. It's really cool. 
but would I attach a cinema camera to it and drive down the street? Fuck. Would I? I would not. It's really cool. But would I attach a cinema camera to it and drive down the street? Fuck. It's really cool. But would I attach a cinema camera to it and drive down the street? Fuck, I did it again. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, we're going to have to rewrite the script. <laughs> it's really cool. But am I going to attach a cinema camera to it and drive down the street? <laughs> Just fucking, I don't, I don't, it's not even funny anymore. We're just going to have to rewrite it because that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay.